Greetings, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, whatever. Anybody who is watching this video, Nicholas here from Serbia, have not uploaded a video for a very long time. I was really busy, busy, busy. Nevertheless, when I get the time to test some new or test out some new Linux distribution or derivative, uh, I upload some videos from time to time. Uh, let me give you a heads up on my configuration at this moment. Not a desktop, it's a laptop, so a portable PC. It's a Lenovo T410 workstation ThinkPad. It's an old generation with an i5 processor mobile and 8 gigabytes of RAM memory and it's uh, let's say uh, ugly but stable business laptop which is still running in 2021 very very good it's running Windows 7 very good it's also running Windows 10 with a little bit of difficulties because of the drivers but with Linux doesn't seem to have problems same like every other machine which is ever out there since today okay let's do it we are running a screen recorder simple screen recorder software well known on any Linux distribution widespread uh, between the Linux distributions and uh, let's find the H top and the H top is going to give us the consuming of the system resources now now when we open the H top or hardware top software it's showing now here one uh, two three four columns so zero to three those are my physical cores of the processor and they are running between 16 and 20 percent right 21 in some case the memory what I have is uh, half of the gigabyte connected to the graphicals processing so from 8 gigabytes total of DDR3 memory I have available 7.58 from which I'm using in this moment while running HTOP and simple screen recorder only 590 megabytes of RAM memory so wow would you look at that let's leave this open let's continue um, standard for PC Linux OS and I'm running the Trinity desktop environment which resembles the old KDE 3.5 in total plus it's very user-friendly for XP users who feel terribly sentimental on Windows XP leaving our market and usage I also love it I believe XP was one of the best, the last usable, user friendly Windows operating systems. So here we are. Let's open up the My Computer. You can see when you open the My Computer, uh, the Conqueror File Manager, which is also a web browser by default, is opening my mounted or present hard disk drives or partitions media and plus on the left side here you have the tree which says you can go to the desktop documents downloads music pictures public templates temporary and videos and this is the present video which we what we are making right now in this moment close the conqueror and let's scroll through some of the start menu options starting from the top you have the most used applications uh, so far because the system is running only recently it's the HTOP and the simple screen recorder right here you have the search bar for forgive me for this mouse cursor trembling because I have one additional mouse which I just unplugged uh, let's go into the games and you have the card games which which is I think the only one because I didn't install any of the games yet and then in the graphics tab uh, you have the software which is closely connected to the 
KDE desktop environment on this Trinity desktop. Internet, a FileZilla, Google Chrome, this was here by default, and everything except for the Qubit torrent, which is very similar to the uh, me torrent bit client, as it's practically the same. In the multimedia tab, my favorite video player is the SM player because it's the most compatible with cross-platform on uh, Unix, Linux, uh, Windows, and iOS, or uh, Macintosh operating system, or whatever you want to call it. Practically Macintosh is same like Unix, but who cares? Everybody thinks it's something else. Was created by Unix, though. And, uh, yeah, audio playing programs... Uh, CD and DVD burning uh, sound mixer and pulse audio volume control system in the office tab practically nothing because I have uninstalled the LibreOffice settings tab many many options which come with the KDE 3.5 or Trinity desktop always well packed system tab wow here you can use a lot of tools a lot a super user group which requires a super user password or privileges so you can modify your systems without any interruptions Hewitt Puckard scan which was acquired automatically I think virtual box and then groups again in utilities for file peripherals desktop editors localization bleach bit is a universal Unix unnecessary file cleaner running good running good software center the most important synaptic looking for my root password once you type it in you are free to go and to search for any type of software what you like let's hit it for example um, uh, tux paint is a child's paint learning program and it's here and you have uh, four packages available tux paint tux paint configuration tux paint development part headers and development libraries blah 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 and stamps which have a rubber stamps collection pictures images PNGs animations and so on and so on for kids let's give a demonstration of how this works you're gonna right click mark for installation it says that these three files need to be added good I also need a tux config good and I need the stamps mark for installation good good internet connection press apply confirm it says seven new packages will be installed 265 megabytes of extra space will be used 178 megabytes have to be downloaded which is practically nothing by the way folks apply and it's running over my Wi-Fi network by the way which is not so good although I do have a fiber optics connection of 100 megabytes per second it's almost finished downloading file 7 out of 7 right over the poor man's Wi-Fi card which is integrated in this laptop and Cheerios Didios almost finished now you're gonna see the speed of the unpacking and the installation of the certain packages and it's going like uh, three two one and finished good applying the changes installing -da 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 And voila, it says that extra output was generated during the package manager operation. GTK update icon cache, the generated cache was invalid. You can simply ignore these type of errors because anyways they don't appear after the first reboot. This is what is also good about Linux. Close. And let's close the package management software, Synaptic. Exit. Now, HTOP exit 
we are still running our session recording whatever we are doing on desktop plus the audio now let's go into the edutainment and it's here a tux paint a drawing program and a tux paint config once you click on the config you go on a video and sound untick all user settings and then give it a full screen native resolution apply quit and after this for example your kids gonna have a full screen drawing program with jokes and fun on the side let's give it a stamp wow and then you can choose a number of stamps whatever your kid likes and the paint program doesn't even cover it but this one believe me it does and it's very nice plus it's audible Quit. you heard the penguin no folks give it a shot whoever has been using Linux before um, poor man configuration especially a Trinity desktop environment which was released by community of the PC Linux operating system or PC Linux OS in 2021 February and is the last let's say updated distro so far you can find all of the instructions on their internet site of the PC Linux OS on the right side top tab you can find the community editions and then there you will have all the info all the best 73s 51s Nicholas from Serbia with short Linux distribution presentations signing off hope you enjoyed it ciao